Hi guys, uh, in this video I am going to open a file in Tableau and visualize it just to, to make an example and you can follow my instructions to do a small visualization with a very simple CSV file. You can find the file in the description down below. So this is Tableau and the file is a CSV, comma separated values. So to import that we need to click on text file. Let's open it. Okay. First, we have a preview of the data. And we can check that the data has been properly understood by Tableau and fix problems if we have some. The first thing we should look at is whether the columns are well understood, and here they are. If they are not, you can change that here in the drop-down menu, text file properties. But here it's fine. So what is this data? What are these data? They are the number of page views for two different Wikipedia pages. One named Space Build Solar something and the other one Thorium Based Nuclear something. So we have dates and numbers. Those uh, quantities have to be properly understood by Tableau. Tableau may think that the dates are actually uh, strings, so just text. But Tableau is pretty clever, so here it understood the dates as dates, and we see that because we have the little calendar icon here. So if I just click here, I could change the kind of data it's supposed to be. Dates are dates, numbers are numbers, whole numbers, it makes a difference. Everything seems fine. So uh, let's move to the visualization part. So to do that, you need to create a new sheet for visualization, and that's why you click here on the bottom on sheet one. Basically, you could also create other sheets for other visualizations for the same data, and then you could create a dashboard, and then you can create a story. But we will just do uh, one visualization. So just one sheet is fine. And of course, because this is data with time, I want to see it as a timeline. I'm going to first name my sheet uh, timeline. This gives me a nice title here. I'm happy with that. And because I know it's going to be a timeline, I would like to see time on the x-axis, on the horizontal axis. And to do that, I have to drag date from the, this stack of uh, attributes here on the left and move it to columns. So columns is basically the horizontal axis. Okay, I do see my years uh, one after another. And now I want to drag other quantities into my visualization and I'm going to put that into the rows. I also want to see the other page, so I'm going to drag it to. We have a minimal timeline. I just want to tune a few things at this point. Um, one of the issues I have is that uh, I have more granularity than the years. I think it might be interesting to see um, the timelines at the day level or week or month. So to do that, we can change that by clicking on this little pill in Tableau, there's a drop-down menu where we can do a, a bunch of things. I could, for instance, click here on month. Just observe what it does. If you do that, you will have the month of every year. So all the, the sum for all months of January, February, and so on. Oh, by the way, the months are displayed in French because for some reason the locale of my computer is French. So if you want to change that, you have to change the workbook local. Let me change that to English. You might be in the same situation as me. Okay, and now the, the, the dates are understood in English, which is uh, useful to us. So let's go back to my visualization. I don't want the month of every year. I want the... <laughs> I don't want the, all the January months at once. I want the January of every year separated. And that's why in this menu you have a first set of um, time granularity and a second set. That's the difference they have. So if I pick month in, in the second set, then I'm going to have the month of every different year. Okay. Um, just a few things. At this point, we could tune the visualization in, in various ways. The first thing that I am considering is looking at this data at the granularity of the day. 
So of course I can do that here. But then I think that it is not really good to have this as a line because there is so much jiggling on this line that it's not very readable. I would rather see that as bars. So we can change that here on the left. And now I'm facing another problem. All these bars are gray. That's because they are so small that their thin gray border is actually the only visible thing. So I have to deactivate the borders. To do all these kind of tunings, in, it's in these little boxes here. So the border is in color. I can go effect border none. And then I get back to the color, the actual color of the bars. And I could change it, right? And blue is fine. I could also change other things like the size. You can explore that uh, by yourself. I am pretty happy with that data because it shows a bunch of spikes. So if we take a minute to look at that, we may wonder, okay, what's going on? Um, I think it's pretty obvious that each of these timelines has one big spike at one moment and we can see when it is. We can dig into that. I'm not going to focus on that now. I just want to export the image at this point so that I can annotate it. And that's what I'm going to do by clicking on Worksheet, Export, Image. Then you know, let everything checked because if you have a legend, a caption, and so on, a title, you, you want to have them in the exported image. And I'm going to save it as timeline.png somewhere on my computer. And that's it.